Hello everyone, welcome to today's editorial analysis. As you know that we analyze the editorial from the Hindu as well as from the Indian Express. So this is the initiative of Apti Plus and the entire initiative is powered by ISGA. So before starting the editorial session, I would like to inform about the answer writing challenge which is there on the website. So every day three questions are being posted on the ISGAN website. You can get the link on the description. You can what you can do, you can participate, you can write your answer, you can post your answer and by 6 pm there will be a model answer. So you can correlate whatever things has been left, you can add on the answer. So this would be you know, definitely enhancing your answer writing skill. And those of you who are appearing for this year's civil services mains examination, you can enroll for the mock test series. You can avail this course both online as well as offline. There are 14 tests, 8 sectional, 4 full length and 2 essay writing tests. So this is a comprehensive test series. For more details, you can uh, visit to our website or uh, contact to the number mentioned below. And uh, uh, we'll be also discussing some of the important questions of the day from the editorial itself possibly. And if not, uh, the important news that is there in, uh, in the today's newspaper. So we'll be discussing. So this will be engaging session. And I request you to please answer uh, the questions on the comment section so that it uh, help uh, us me to know exactly how many people are participating because from past uh, couple of days and uh, you are not responding because you have said that ki sir aap explain karo answer so i'm explaining but i also want you to be participating uh, aap answer sunne ke baad, will be you just comment on that okay so getting started with the editorial analysis of the day so the first editorial talks about the Rajpaksha Redux and the Democratic Imperial. So this is on the background of the re upcoming uh, election which is there in the Sri Lanka. So uh, this would be important for your general studies prelims paper, uh, general studies paper two precisely, where it talks about the international relation, okay, and that's the bilateral relation with the India. So this is more uh, of the inner. Now, inner voice of uh, the Sri Lanka, I mean, uh, this topic is related to the Sri Lanka in general. So, uh, this is not a uh, by relation with the India as such. So, here we Sri Lanka ke mein ki how, because the, in, in December 19, I mean, in December jo 2019, mein, uh, the election is scheduled. Okay, in 2019, the election is scheduled in the Sri Lanka and uh, the recent formation of the parties in the Sri Lanka, so um, uh, which have won, so that is again would be a great cause of concern because it, it has been told that ki this party uh, has uh, oh no, it has given a incremental vote so uh, it has again come to the power so this is more of the party which the Rajpakche government is called SLPP if I'm not wrong it's Sri Lanka Pudujana Paramunna okay this is SLPP so they have swept uh, the you know, the other so it, it basically talks about ki how uh, the upcoming things will be taken care of and at the same time the brother of the Raja Pakche so it is more of the kinship which has been continued in this election so it will be the great uh, to see key what things come into the action because democracy has to win at the last okay uh, I mean and the pivotal would be that the democracy wins so uh, this is on the background of that a, a bit of um, no the entirely internal issues of Sri Lanka if you want you can read this but again that much not relevant for the examination such now talking about the other important ritual which is there in the Hindu it talks about the lesson from the great Delhi. so this is on the background of the Kerala and uh, as you know uh, the, uh, the issues of Kerala basically talking about you know, the Western Ghats and the Malabar has resulted in the vast Rewind network so how we can channelize it Channelizing it to the large scale, so it can ultimately uh, and can it can also promote some of the other large scale level of urbanization. Okay, and some of the substantial portion also, and and the needs to you know dilute some of the laws like Kerala conservation on paddy lands of the Wetland 2000 Act. So uh, these laws have some of the beneficial also because it will definitely increase the preservation of the land and the water reserve. Uh, buffers as such so uh, this can this is an important editorial you can read and uh, just filter out some of the important point that is relevant for the examination this can be important for your general studies paper one precisely where the phenomenons of geographies are there and paper three as well as the water resource management is there now the other editorial which is there in the Hindu talks about is the issues of removal special tax to Jammu and Kashmir has been justified. So there are two arguments by Radha Kumar and uh, Kumar Murlin. So you can read this. There are some questions and uh, which has been argued, which has been answered by these two of the authors. So 
yeah this can be important because you can get at the time some of the important trivial information that would be required for the examination be it pre or mains examination theek hai baki if you want ki whatever the other details are there so i have made a separate two videos where one i have discussed article 370 and 35a 370 and 35a and the other video which is there in our channel talks about the implication of this decision of the revoking of the article 370 and 35a okay so please refer to that video and the other editorial which is there uh, in the hindu itself talks about the uh, tamling of ebola in drc okay so this is uh, on the background of the republic of congo so uh, there has been some no, remarkable uh, achievement for this you know uh, to that uh, how we can how the this uh, ebola has been reduced as such so there is a good news coming from ebola struck down in the democratic republic of congo so you can use this i mean this can be used in any of the correlation agar aap kisi cheez mein kuch tarah ka answer aaye ki india stand or ya other countries ke baat mein to aap yahan pe bata sakte ho kuch figures ke bare mein jo marks uh, ek company hai uh, unhone ek vaccine release kiya call rvsv zero work gb to uske bare mein bhi thodi discussion hai to so, yeah this can be important a bit this definitely aap isko ek folder point ke jaisa rakh sakte ho now coming to the editorial from the indian express so for today there is editorial uh, the uh, talks about the title of the editorial is one speech many pms so the yesterday speech of the prime minister from the you know the majestic red fort and the eve of 73rd independence day so the prime minister has uh, has taken various things into the account he talks about ki how the ease of living okay how the ease of living can come into the action and apart from other maximum governance minimum you know uh, minimum the maximum governance minimum government was the uh, previous uh, logo the motto of the government now the government is shifting from that to some of the important aspects of the ease of doing business and other ease of living so uh, these uh, this is on the background oh, those of you who have not listened to the prime minister uh, address to the nation it was very a good ad uh, nation, uh, address so if you want you can please refer that there's a video there and you can read this also because some of the important point can be understood by reading this so uh, this at the same time would not be much relevant for any of your paper research but in general it will give you the perspective of the government now the other editorial which is there in the next page talks about the unifying the command so this is on the background of again yesterday's prime minister's you uh, know uh, he he has pitched that the appointment for the chief of defense staff will be there a post uh, a new defense post will be coming into the action so it's a long demanded so this will be our in depth analysis of the day so i'll not take much time here because we'll be discussing in the details of the requirement for the examination now the other editorial which is there in the indian express talks about the why article 370 has to go so this is on the pro uh, of the decision so again uh, as this is a continuation main aapko pehle bhi bataya abhi still there are other days will be coming that we can see these art, uh, news uh, no, editorial from the article 370 aur jammu ka jammu kashmir ke jo issues hain usse related still there will be there to aap isko bhi uh, you can read अगेन अगर आपने ऑलरेडी यू मेड द नोट्स तो यू कैन स्कीप दिस फाइन बट दिस इज फॉर द प्रो आर्ग्यूमेंट्स नाउ द अदर एडिटोरियल शॉर्ट आर्टिकल व्हिच इज देयर इन द हिंदू सो टॉक्स अबाउट द गर्ल फ्रॉम द बाराबंकी सो दिस इज द ट्रू टेलिंग ऑफ द गांधी स्पेक्टिज्म सो दिस इज अगेन नॉट डॉट आई मीन इफ यू रीडिंग दिस वन इट वुड बी नॉट दैट रेलिवेंट if you want you can read this but uh, from my point of view i can you can skip this some of the gandhi's point are been mentioned uh, so refer this as well because no if you don't want i mean here and there any things can be asked from the examination perspective now coming into the details of this unifying the command so this editorial is pivotal important uh, for the day and this can be useful for your general studies paper 3 precisely and where it talks about the issues and challenges to the internal security defense forces paramilitary forces and at the same times it can also be used in the essay or other important aspects related to the defense sector so this is by ashok bansal he is a writer uh, he is a formal level officer basically and currently is the director of indian national foundation so he has given a picture he had the views expressed as personal so we'll get into the other important aspects from the exam perspective right so uh, on the eve of the 73rd independence day uh, the prime minister has announced that the post of the chief of defense staff is called cds 
CDS will be there. So this was a major announcement coming from the Prime Minister. Now, what? Uh, why the defense uh, uh, chief staff is needed? Why is the what is the need? So the 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 major need to provide the effective leadership to the top level, top level in the three wings of the armed forces: the air force, the navy, and the army. Okay. So to help them improve the coordination among them, it is the way to make a center and make a no a make coordination between them. So it is a very important to make the coordination between the all. Three wings of the forces, fine. So this is why it was needed. Now, other important aspects. See what uh, you need to understand. Ki what is the background when it was being initiated? ठीक है तो the chief of defence staff has been long pending demand. बहुत पहले से भी इसकी demand की जा रही है. If you know these these two points are important. कि the recommendation of the Carville Review Committee जब बनी थी 1999 में. So it was led by K. Kumar Swami. Okay, Kumar uh, K. Kumar Yannam. तो इन्होंने सॉरी के सुब्रमण्यम ठीक है के सुब्रमण्यम ने बताया था कि जो कारविल जो कि वी नीड अ चीफ ऑफ डिफेंस स्टाफ फाइन तो ये कमेटी दिस कैन बी इंपॉर्टेंट आप इसको यूज कर सकते हो यू कैन राइट इन द एग्जामिनेशन और एक कमेटी और बनी थी जिसको कमेटी ऑफ एक्सपर्ट सेट अप बाय द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ डिफेंस अंडर द चेयरमैनशिप ऑफ डी बी तो इन दोनों ने दे हैव पिच की देर शुड बी द चीफ ऑफ डिफेंस स्टाफ इसके बाद गवर्नमेंट ने एक अलग एक्शन के तौर पर वी सी डी एस नो वाइस चीफ ऑफ डिफेंस स्टाफ की कुछ चली थी बट स्टिल दैट इज नॉट इन टू द प्रॉपर एक्शन ठीक है नॉट गेट इन टू दैट डिटेल्स बट हाँ यू कैन डेफिनेटली अगर आप इसके बारे में आंसर लिख रहे हो मेन्स में तो प्लीज डू कोर्ट दिस कि द कार्पेट लिव कमेटी हेडेड बाई के सुब्रमण्यम एंड द डिफेंस मिनिस्ट्री के चेयरमैनशिप में डी वी सेट करने ये कमेटी ने रिकमेंड किया था फाइन Now you also need to understand what will be the functions of the chief of the defence staff. The chief of defence staff ki jo office hogi, wo kya kam karegi? How will it will function? So see, it the exact terms it will be given the responsibility and assignment. Uh, abhi jo hai still not make public because they will be given some of the important aspects. So uske some kuch or other trivial things are there need to be work upon. Or agar main baat karu to it would be a four star military officers. Ye jo honge jo jinki rank hogi, it would be somewhere. फोर स्टार मिलिट्री ऑफिसर एंड इट वुड एक्ट एज अ सिंगल पॉइंट एज वाइव टू द गवर्नमेंट ये सिंगल पॉइंट एडवाइजर होंगे गवर्नमेंट और मिलिट्री मैटर्स पे ठीक है एंड जो सी डी एस है इट वुल ऑल्सो कॉर्डिनेट अमॉन्ग द जैसे मैंने बताया थ्री सर्विसेज एंड ब्रिज द डिफरेंसेज जो भी उनमें जो जो अंतर्भेद होगा उनको उसको खत्म करने की कोशिश की जाएगी ठीक है एंड द अपॉइंटमेंट ऑफ सी डी एस विल ऑल्सो मेक द आर्म फोर्सेज मोर इफेक्टिव सी अंटिल एनालिस यू हैव Uh, the supervision or the grievances, the things do not work in the synchronized manner. Fine. So this would this would be given uh, give more effective way to the uh, all armed forces. So this is what will be the functions of the chief of defence staff. Now talking about at present, who advises the prime minister on the military matters? Abhi present me, वर्तमान में कौन ही ऐसी post है जो prime minister को एडवाइस करती है तो वी हैव नेशनल सिक्योरिटी एडवाइजर मिस्टर डोवाल अजीत डोवाल इज अ नेशनल सिक्योरिटी एडवाइजर तो अभी ये जो काम है वो नेशनल सिक्योरिटी एडवाइजर देखते हैं एंड इट इज इट हैज बिन स्पेशली सो फार लाइक जो डिफेंस प्लानिंग कमेटी है दैट वाज क्रिएटेड इन 2018 ठीक है एक डिफेंस प्लानिंग कमेटी बनाई गई थी जिसकी और उसके जो चेयरमैन थे वो एन थे एज इट्स नेशनल सिक्योरिटी एडवाइजर और जो मेम्बर्स अदर मेम्बर्स वेयर फॉरन जो फॉरेन के जो सेक्रेटरीज हैं फॉरेन सेक्रेटरीज हैं डिफेंस सेक्रेटरीज हैं एक्सपेंडिचर सेक्रेटरीज हैं और जो चीफ ऑफ थ्री सर्विसेज हैं आर्मी नेवी एंड एयरफोर्स उनके उन सारों लोगों को मिला करके एक डिफेंस प्लानिंग कमेटी बनाई गई दीज दीज थिंग्स आर टेकन केयर ऑफ दीज एडवाइज द प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑन मिलिट्री एंड अदर इम्पॉर्टेंट डिफेंस इशूज ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट फॉर द नेशन नाउ वॉट आर द चैलेंजेस That also you need to understand from the exam perspective. अगर बात किए जाए डिफेंस चीफ ऑफ डिफेंस स्टार्ट की तो क्या क्या प्रॉब्लम्स आएगी देखो द क्रिएशन ऑफ द ऑफिस इज नॉट इनफ द हाउ द थिंग्स विल बी एग्जीक्यूटेड एंड नो द पावर्स दैट नीड टू बी इनफ्लक्चुएटेड इन दैट वुड बी अगेन अ ग्रेटर टास्क एंड डेफिनेटली देर इज अ नीड टू ऑगमेंट द एंड ऑगमेंट एंड रीस्ट्रक्चर द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ डिफेंस जरूरत है कि हम उसको कैसे और रीस्ट्रक्चर करें बढ़िया से एंड क्रिएटिंग अ इंटरग्रेटल थ्रिएटर फॉर द कमांड्स फाइन एंड द अदर इम्पॉर्टेंट चैलेंजेस वुड बी कि हाउ द चीफ ऑफ डिफेंस स्टार्ट शुड नॉट बी मेड रोटेशनल अपॉइंटमेंट यहाँ पे इनकी जो अपॉइंटमेंट है दैट शुड नॉट बी मेड अ रोटेशनल अपॉइंटमेंट 
बट इट शुड बी आफ्टर द इंटरव्यूइंग ऑफ द टॉप ऑफिशियल फ्रॉम द थ्री सर्विसेज जो टॉप ऑफिशियल हमारे पास ऑलरेडी थ्री सर्विसेज में हैं उनको भी ला सकते हैं नाउ देर इज़ नो क्लियर ब्लू प्रिंट ऑफ द ऑफिस टू इंश्योर द इफेक्टिवनेस अभी हमारे पास कोई ब्लू प्रिंट नहीं है वी स्टिल डू नॉट हैव द ब्लू प्रिंट बिकॉज सी इट हैज़ ऑलरेडी बीन अभी अनाउंस हुई है तो डेफिनेटली इट विल टेक अनदर टाइम टू इनैक्ट द ब्लू प्रिंट एंड हाउ द थिंग्स विल बी एग्जीक्यूटेड फाइन सो द इफेक्टिवनेस विल बी डेफिनेटली टेकन केयर ऑफ एंड द अदर चैलेंजेस वुड बी कि हाउ इफेक्टिव वुड बी द चीफ ऑफ डिफेंस स्टाफ सो ही मस्ट हैव द डायरेक्ट एक्सेस टू द डिफेंस मिनिस्टर एंड द प्राइम मिनिस्टर भाई कोशिश ये भी करनी चाहिए कि जो आप ऑफिस बना रहे हो वहाँ पे देर शुड बी डायरेक्ट कम्युनिकेशन बिटवीन द टू मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट मिनिस्ट्रीज ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया दैट इज डिफेंस एंड द प्राइम मिनिस्टर सो दिस वेर द सम ऑफ द मेजर चैलेंजेस दैट वुड बी देयर now talking about the way forward what would be the how it would be providing in another step so the creation of cds will definitely follow the further reform and it will configure the armed forces it will restructure the armed forces and definitely it will meet the aspirations of the global path okay and uh, talking about the appointment of the chief of defense start it will definitely fill the voids jo bhi kamiya hai jo bhi khamiya hai hamare defense forces mein us system ko usko khatam karne mein ye kuch hat bahut hat tak madad karegi and the uh, cds will also be augmenting and restructuring the ministry of defense and uh, creating a integrator for the commands or talking about the cds has to be isko zarurat hai ki it should be a cerebral warrior okay and good understanding of the global security environment a uh, function of the three ek aisa brain ban ke wo bhai jo ki jo global security environment hai uh, wo usko बहुत ही भली भांति समझे एंड द फंक्शन ऑफ द थ्री सर्विस शुड बी आल्सो टेकन इनटू द कंसीडरेशन सो दिस वाज ऑन द पर्सपेक्टिव ऑफ वे फॉरवर्ड सो आई वुड से कि रादर दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट एडिटोरियल एंड दिस कैन बी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर योर प्रीलिम्स एग्जाम आल्सो क्योंकि उसके रिलेटेड पूछ सकते हैं जो लोग सी का एग्जाम दे रहे हैं या दोज हु आर अपेयरिंग फॉर सी दिस कैन बी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर दोज स्टूडेंट एक्सपेरेंट्स एज वेल and so at the same time this can be important for the mains and you can use here and there if you write ac on the defense or um, the security of india to yahan pe bhi ab cheezon ko use kar sakte hain so this was there on the part of the unifying the command uh, if you want the crisp notes of this you can refer to the description you will find uh, uh, the, the in the description the details are provided fine so now we'll be starting the important questions for the day so i need your participation get get started for the first question so you have to tell me ki the union executive consist of which of the following so as you know that this question has been previously asked by upsc also so it can be asked to aapko is pata hona chahiye ki kon kon se union executive consist karte hain so is it the vice president the speaker of uh, lok sabha the council of minister and the attorney general so i'll take a pause Just think and and uh, I also request कि आपको अगर आंसर पता भी है तो do comment on the YouTube so that it uh, it uh, no it help us know कि how many people are participating. So for this the answer is C Vice President is there in the uh, I'll, I'll 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 tell you the explanation first then I'll tell you the answer. C Union Executive consists of President, Vice President, uh, Prime Minister, Council of Minister and Attorney General. So these are the five who consist of Union Executive. so the answer is 1 3 and 4 speaker of lok sabha is not on the union executive so c is the correct answer now uh, the second question is uh, which of the defense post was announced by the prime minister on the eve of 73rd independence day to aapko batana hai kaun si post ki uh, prime minister announce kiya hai ki kis post ko banaya jayega so it is the director general of armed services the chief of defense staff the chief of all forces or the vigilance of military services which of the following post was announced so the correct answer is chief of defense staff cds okay as we have discussed the entire details of that so i think uh, you just like the videos if any other concern just let us know i'll be more than happy to answer your query for time being i am signing off keep your work hard and meet in the next videos thank you